guys, a random lady here. It's the best day. It is Red Bird Vintage Day. Just got it. So excited. So this is February's box, box number three for me. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I did slice it open already. Oh, did I not cut them all? Cause I don't have my scissors with me. Oh, I can do it, yeah. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, Redbird Vintage Box is a monthly subscription box just like Ipsy is for makeup. Redbird Vintage Box is for vintage accessories and clothing. They have two different boxes. Um, let me pull out the card because the card always explains it all. So here's my lovely box. I've got some pretty pastel pink paper in here and here's my box. So let me just pull out the card here. Um, the Lorraine box, which is the one that I got, which is the um, $100 box, is six items total, including clothing, and they're all vintage. Sometimes you will get a couple extra pieces in there, and sometimes it's because one of them isn't up to par, or maybe it's not true vintage, or has like a nick in it, or whatever the case may be. So sometimes you get more than six. And then the Marie box is a total of four items, all accessories. But accessories can still include stuff like, you know, purses and, and stuff like that. So, okay. I did get several Adam items. So I know I got a couple of purses that I bought on the Adam things. So Adam items are usually not true vintage or they're damaged. The two that I got were damaged, but I want to see if there's anything I could do because one of them looked like it's going to be perfect for my wedding in October. So let's get right into it. Um, dear Kate, hope you love your box this month. Thank you. Love Sarah. So I know I will. I requested, I can't help myself. I watch their YouTube videos. I'm like, I'm not going to request a ton. And then they, they keep posting everything on Instagram and I keep falling in love with stuff. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I was like, I know I'm not going to get it all. So I just keep requesting because I figure maybe I'll get one, maybe I'll get two. Last month I got like three requests. So sorry if I'm requesting too much, but okay. So I believe that these were my add-on items. So let's start with those and I'll show you guys what I got. I got two white purses. All right, now I'm on the hunt for a good purse for my wedding. So there's this little guy, lovely little beaded purse, but you can see there's some stains here. But how cute is this? And then the earrings that I got, these were also damaged, but I'm crafty. I might be able to do something to them. Um, they're not signed, so I don't mind messing with them because the worst thing that happens is they're not, you know, perfect, but they're not perfect anyway, but they're actually really quite good. They're little, uh, clip-on, three little rosettes. Come on. There we go. And you can see there's a little bit of discoloration where the glue is, but that don't bother me none. I mean, it's just a little bit, but I'm going to see if I can play around with it. So there's that. And then this darling little purse, it's missing one of the little stones here. And it's definitely got some heavy duty staining, but I will uh, see what I can do with this. That's a nice bag. I hope I can fix it. And then there was this guy. And now I can see what the problem is. This one does not clasp because it does not appear to have any stains. The only problem is it does not close. So, ah, I see it's broken. I think I can fix this. So yay, projects. Not that I have any time for that with a toddler, but it'll be in my like, five years from now when I have some free time pile. Okay, so let's get into the actual box itself. So here's everything. Oh, this is cute. It's missing. So they always tie everything together with some sort of a um, 
damaged piece. It's usually like a clip-on earring or a brooch, a pin, something like that. And the one this month is a brooch. It's cute and it's missing quite a few pearls, but they actually appear to be the same size pearls that I'm missing in my other brooch. So when I get the, you know, I'll probably go to Michael's or something and find the correct size. I can probably fix this one too. And then will that be fun? Another rainy day project five years from now when uh, she's off to school or something. So let's get into the accessories. I cannot untie this. Okay. I'm opening my vintage box in my uh, 80s t-shirt. So, well, 80s reference t-shirt. That's still vintage. I'm, I'm usually wearing either vintage or nerdy things. Um, oh, the pin went through the bags, so I can't get my stuff out here. Let's see if I can get this undone real quick here. Doo -doo. Here we go. Okay, accessories. Whoop. Here is a two leaf pin brooch. It's silver toned and it says BSK is the stamp, oh, stamp on that. Not familiar, I don't know if that's a brand or not. This does not appear to be closing. Ah, it's just really tough to close. Okay, so now I can hold that up for you. Very cute. I like leaves. I have so many leaves, but I don't have a leaf that looks like this, so it's a nice one to add to my collection. And I have more gold tones. I like silk. I tend to gravitate towards silver, I thought, but when I was going back through all my jewelry, I have all gold, yellow gold, gold tone stuff. I guess I actually gravitate more towards gold. So, ooh, gold and pearls. Love gold and pearls. <laughs> I have a gold and pearl brooch, but it's missing a pearl, but this one is not. This is very nice. I could definitely see this in the card and this also would look really nice like in the, the middle or even when I wear my berets. I really like this piece. So I think I tend to like gold more than silver even though when I filled out my questionnaire I said that I liked silver. But you know what's funny? I Every other day I swear I, my tastes change. I like 1940s, 1930s because those are the movies that I grew up watching and that's kind of what I like, but I tend to wear more like 50s and rockabilly stuff, so I like it all. I like 60s stuff a lot too, so moving on. Oh yay! I think I requested these. These are funky. Ah oh, yes, these are really cute. So look at these giant clip-on earrings. They go this way. Whoa, I gotta put these on. Oh my goodness, no using a cell phone with these guys. Holy moly, this is how they look. This is interesting. I've never had anything like this. I'm not sure how I feel about these actually. When I first saw them, I thought, you know, maybe they would be down a little bit lower. But this is, I have really big pointy ears. I feel like I look like a Vulcan in these. Well, I look like, I look like a Vulcan anyway, I know. So, you know, whatever, live long. Uh, but these are cool. I could definitely see myself wearing something like, yeah, these are, these are going to get some use. They're funky. I like them though. Very interesting. Are they branded? They seem like they should be. No, they're not. And they're, they're just plastic, but they're very cool. So my red three flower <laughs> plastic earrings, these are cool. I don't have anything like that. So still got something else in here. Yes, I still got two more things in here. Oh, this is one of the requests. Oh, I love this. This is really, really nice. Oh. I'm really pale and I look horrible in yellow, but I love yellow <laughs> and I wear it anyway. And look, look at this. Is this coming out? Oh, this is so lovely. I know I said lovely a lot. 
But this is just darling. All right, I'll really sit there and oogle every ogle. Ogle? How is that pronounced? I need to get more sleep. Um, I'll really sit here and admire everything later, but I'll just show everything off right now. So, but isn't this really cute? Oh, love this. I'm like getting so much stuff that I can't really picture wearing right now, but that's okay. I'm going to get so much use out of this in spring and summer and, oh, these kind of look like they might go with the brooch. They're definitely not a set, but I would wear them together for sure. Look at these clip-ons. Coming out, gold with pearls. Not wearing any jewelry. I'm staying home today, so I'm just wearing messy hair, greasy hair back in a ponytail and a t-shirt. Being a mom today, but my mom is here with the little one right now, so it was a good day to get my bag. So I'm able to open it up. I like these. And I have to find, go through all of my uh, jewelry. My birthday is two weeks from yesterday. So I requested from the hubby a real pearl necklace. I've always wanted one. So hopefully he remembered, uh, or maybe he'll be watching my videos. <laughs> you got two weeks to find one. So I have to find a good pair of earrings to go with whatever uh, necklace you got me. I have just simple studs I'll probably end up wearing because I feel like classic pearls, you kind of want to keep it simple with that. So, okay, moving on. I see some bags. I love bags. Ooh, did I request this one? I know I saw it for sure and I may have requested this one. I'm just, I'm on the hunt for a good purse for my wedding. So I'm sorry if you guys are requesting white bags and I'm just constantly requesting them, but it's for my wedding. <laughs> so, you know, I need, I need something to keep my touch up stuff in. So this is adorable. Might be a little bit too small for my wedding, but this is definitely, I think, going to come out with me on my birthday in two weeks because this can definitely hold my uh, lipstick and <sighs> probably I need a small phone. And I, everyone keeps telling me, get an iPhone because they're smaller, but I don't, I don't like them. But then if you want a good phone and it's a Samsung, then you have to get this brick. Look at this. This phone is not good. For vintage. I can fit it in the other bag that's broken, but I'm not going to have enough time to fix that. And I'm not going to break, no, I'm not even going to attempt it because I'm not going to break a bag for you. I'll just make the hubby hold the phone. He's always got deep pockets. They give such good pockets to men. Not fair. Anyway, enough of ranting. I've got, oh, look at this. Nice clutch. I actually do not have a brown clutch, so this is great. This is a patented snap. Oh, well, I think I have a ton of bags with this exact snap. So now I know the patent number for the snap that's in all of my bags with this. So, and this is a very good size. This one fits my phone. Oh yeah, I love clutches. I need to find a better clutch or bag that's just a little bit bigger so I can fit like a diaper in it just in case because sometimes I don't want to lug out that giant bag or the backpack if I'm looking cute so I need to get a good larger bag because this wouldn't work but I love this bag I really do I don't think it's um this is definitely imitation but there's no problems with it it's not falling apart it's in really good shape so I'm quite happy with it Take my phone out now because I will forget it and it's probably still on silent from when the little one was napping earlier so I will lose that forever. Okay clothing I see dots I like dots a belt and what's this <gasps> yay I love it okay what is this showing up as black it is not black it is navy and I love navy blue and gold. I love nautical, anything, I live on Long Island, so 
I think I just grew up loving nautical stuff. My dad was a fisherman and you know, I have a ton of nautical stuff in my house to decorate. So I love these colors together, but look at these. And this is a great length. Ooh, I'm not gonna try this on now. Check me out on Instagram because I will definitely be trying this on, if not later today, <laughs> um, soon. Because it's almost time to make dinner, so. Gotta do that and I see more dots and it's more navy. It's like a cream and a navy. What do we have here? Is this a dress? I think this could be a dress. This is a dress. This is a long dress with really cool details. Is that gonna come out? Come on. Do I have to do the hand again? Ah, whatever, you can see. So he's got these really cool gold buttons. And this is long. Yeah. This is coming down to almost my ankle. So this is interesting. For sure. I'm not really sure if I'm ever going to wear this dress. This dress kind of feels very... I don't know. I'm going to have to try it on. I've had this before where I've gotten a dress. I love the way it looks. I love the dots. I love all the little details. But it's very like boxy. Maybe with a belt. Maybe this belt will go with it. I don't know what this belt was meant for anyway. It could be with this. It could be with this. It could be for both of them. But um, I'll definitely have, I'm going to try it on regardless. You guys let me know what you think. It's, um, I'm not quite sure about it, so, but we'll find out. So that was my box. A lot of good stuff. A lot of bags. A lot of great jewelry. I'm very excited for the warmer weather. I haven't really been wearing a lot. I have a couple of wool skirts, but I'm not a wool kind of girl. I... I'm always hot and I actually don't own a jacket so it's hard like I don't want to wear a lot of my like lighter stuff out in the cold but then I don't have a coat and I don't like wool so I just don't dress nice as much this time of year I do have some nice sweaters and I'll wear like a thick black skirt and stuff but uh anyway I'm rambling so that was my box and again I will post a link to my Instagram that way you guys can check out my skirt and my dress I'm really I can't wait to try on the dress and I hope I love it because like the blue one last month I love the way it looked coming out of the thing and I but I was still a little like oh but then when I tried it on it had such a nice silhouette so you never really know until you try them on I'm not thrilled with the length though but we'll see anyway um Please subscribe because I plan on doing this for probably not ever, but I, I enjoy these vintage boxes so much. So if you want to see my future unboxing, subscribe and uh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>